previously on the best automatic five part nine we tried to promote oh well we got the other presenter because he was doing it hey that was me would you mind not batting in yeah but it was a load of nonsense with form boxes and you trying to brag how brilliant you are at playing football when it was a total accident no, it wasn't. But well, yeah, the real so serious guys about like this episode, if you all watched it, you know, I hope you yeah, have, my boy. Because you will hear how nasty the insurance investigator was insulting us, saying that we just men. I don't know what she means by that, by saying men, practically, that we're rubbish presenters and that. So oh, man, I'm very glad that it what? Because of sex so, just see the insults. Gentlemen, to be fair, I've mentioned hey, cars more than thing you. Is, though, you hardly mention anything. All you do is bicker and argue episode, who's running the show. Who the gives it. out the most cash? Yeah, all right, I'll do this. I don't even yes, work that's right. for this show. So I don't she even, worked out not even here in this capacity, but I'm doing a better job than you. Nice fella. And then the translator. But she didn't realise there was one. Yeah, that's right. You left. Tell catch that a was our very her. young Gimp. Again, but Taylor, your comments this is the bit I don't oh, actually I understand. Maybe you will. You uh, and young she's Charlie. saying that something the fact like of first victim, first bit murder victim wasn't actually dead at all. No, he was still alive. And he's hanging around in a naughty what what he's on a bison or something. Well, if he shut up, we can hear what he's actually saying. We. So he was oh, I know. Well. Oh, what? Can you lick his own or what? Don't you insult me. What? I'm trying to do the previous bit. When you're ruining it. Oh, what? When she's mentioned about Captain Gorgeous back there. And I knew it. That he keeps winching about his cars a different shade of red and all that. Look. I need you know, something to do with it. I mean, first. I still don't understand what she's Your all about. And then, on GTA later on in the show, or you see it, do, do, she starts to threaten us, doesn't she? Oh, she did. Out mostly me. Murders, well, like yeah, well, you did do, guilt. you know, that, didn't you? But you didn't. Well, I was trying to explain my culture of my country. And she took it out of the fence. No, you were explaining about it sincerely. Never mind all that. Let's go on presenting this show. We were all lot interrupting. Sorry. Right. Welcome to a best sort of May. Is the island challenge. So we're doing the island challenge everyone, but the thing is, when me presenting the show everybody, the producers have mentioned that they're going to hype this up a little bit by actually bringing some other people in that we actually know. What you mean some other people are coming into it? We're already near round the island already, why should there be more? You're bad enough for you coming round on it. Yeah, well... Why are you bleeding going, Captain Gorgeous? Look, I told you there was nowhere to go. I am going to close it. Look, there's a problem with this challenge. I mean, it's just stupid. Can't do it. I can't get round that way. So I'm trying to find another way. Right, don't interrupt me. Or what? This is it. Oh, the bloody hell, Rosie! Hello, it's me, Charlie. I, I, I'm doing the challenge with you, fellas. Well, you might be doing it, but you got killed, didn't you? No, I didn't get killed. I jumped out. I didn't want to do the challenge in cars. It's boring. Hey, and here's the game doing the other challenge. Maybe the insurance best guy can ask him some questions. Yeah, please, because you never answer me, so I'm getting fed up with this. So I've decided to reveal who you really are, and I know the local underground bookies, as well as legit ones, can chase you for your IOUs once they know your name. But the underground scene won't take proper channels, then you're one less investigation, one less to investigate on this crazy show. You're replaceable. I'd even say upgrade into someone who can talk as well as drive. 
It won't be hard to search, especially on your salary. Maybe one of the presenters would take your place. I would see the producers giving that privilege and 50k a year to the presenter who stops these immoral, untimely, costly murders. So if anyone is interested in that role, without judgement and consequences, you should speak now. Right, that'll for the gimp, won't it? Yeah. All of you. Because anybody... I pitch his mouth for your head, I don't like her mouth. I don't like yours either. What do you mean? Don't tell my mummy on you. Then please do it. Moo moo, you what? Okay. Yeah, alright, alright. Don't upset the insurance investigator. We're all off the top posh again. You what? Screw her. You don't know that you can't be saying that, or what? Why are you bleeding going, Captain Gorgeous? He's finding a different a route. Th yeah, exactly, thank you. I mean, there ain't nowhere to go, it's just a big dead end. Yeah, you can't fly the car over that large body of water. Well, I can with mine. Well, yes, but you've got a bit of catching up to do yet, even if you are flying. Oh, well, what have we got this squeaker on for? What have we brought him on for? Look, this is me doing my challenge! I, I don't know why why the producers have brought him back on, because it's just more insurance cover. No, it isn't, you stupid mare! Why, why are you being so insulting? I'm not being insulting! It's bad enough about with that other man as well! In fact, I need to get back to the GIMP. I need the GIMP to a a answer my, some of my questions. Yeah, so shut up, little squeaker. No, you shut up, you, you, you nont. Oi! You're not allowed to accuse people of that. That's slander. Yeah, he is. I told him to suck on my lollipop and he wanted to lick it. Yeah, I like lollipops. That's why I give you all my personal details because you asked for them. Yeah, to catch you, you dirty nonce. I'd be very careful what you say next, actually, um, Captain Gorgeous. Um, but, you saying about sucking on lollipops, you do realise what most of the references to that mean, don't you? No, I tell my mummy. Well, tell her. In fact, general comments, sucking too hard on your lollipop means to dwell over something, usually love-related until it becomes obsessive. The message that I got from this song was that one should not suck too hard on their lollipop, otherwise they will not see the love around them. Also, um, I'm trying to think of what else on top of my head. You dumb. Well, can you think of anything? Yeah, not to think that Captain Gorgeous is Captain Nonce, because I told him to suck my Lollipop down my trousers, oh. that's what I was saying. I know. And he wanted to lick it. Lollipop. He, did he state. Lollipops. Yes, but did he state that it was a real lollipop or did he state at any time it was a representation of his private? I don't know. Not you. I'm at oh, Captain, Captain Gorgeous, yeah. yeah. A lollipop, I like lollipops. My mum gets me a lollipop well, a, when you take me to the dentist and that. Exactly, a lollipop is a hard candy on a stick that you lick or suck. Well, yeah, obvious. And I guess it's about the origin of the lolly or the lolly part of this word include loll or dangle for tongue or in North England dialect tongue meaning of lolly. And also, if you want something a bit more up to date, even the lollipop emoji depicts a colourful hard candy on a stick. This candy is associated with childhood, playful mood, sweetness, joyfulness and happiness. And they're exactly the most common meanings it gives to some messages or posts. Left often it is used as sexual or uneven offensive context. So why you've gone straight to this offensive context, I don't know. You need evidence, otherwise it's slander. Look, I told him to suck my lollipop and he went, yeah, I want to lick it. So he's a nonce! That's slander! He's, he's not a nonce. Where's your other evidence? Apart from you, obviously. You're obviously an entrapper. No, I'm not! My mummy says I'm a good boy! Well, I'm afraid she's wrong. No, she's not! My mummy's always right! I very much doubt that. Did she one. is! She didn't get it right when she didn't have an endorphin. You what? 
Vai se Then please put her on. She's busy in the bedroom of my new daddy, she's got me. You've only got one biological father, you can't have another one. No, my mummy gets me a load of new daddies. That's what she tells me. I'm sorry, but that's just called being a slapper. A slapper? Who's a slapper? You're a slapper, aren't you? Yeah. I want to slap you, not not a slapper. What? 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 Blimey! Why on Captain Gorgeous? Right. So he told you that to suck his lollipop. Yeah. Is that why you give down all your details to him? Well, yeah, because I like lollipops. Yeah, but as a grown adult, you shouldn't be giving your details out to kids. Um, I mean, another reason as well, um, with lollipops, it's an insult word used for kids in fourth and fifth grade. Oh, blimey, what's the gift? That was interesting and bizarre, but my hellfire was the slowest on the speed challenge, so I got the gimp to sort it out, to do the original ending of Vanishing Point. Enjoy. Right, Mr. Gimp, we got your DNA on one of Christine's broken parts, so why don't you just come clean on what really happened? Wait on. He's got a bio suit. How would you get DNA on, uh, on, on someone else's car? I don't get it. He's got a bio suit. He made a mistake. Yeah, right. How can he do that? Hello, you're ruining it. He's doing my ending. You're, my ruining, my, you're ruining my investigation. Oh, no. He's, he, you're ruining the ending of Vanishing Point. Right. You know, he's going to do it now. Right, watch this. How can I ruin the ending of Vanishing Point? This isn't Vanishing Point. What? Oh, what's he doing? That's my point. It's not Vanishing Point because he went into the bulldozers. He just did what Swarovski should have done and drove around the bulldozer. What that the Gimp should have done? That is ruined it. I mean, what's he bleeding doing there? I mean, what the hell? What, what's he trying to do? It's definitely not Vanishing Point anymore. I bet you're playing off saying he's got DNA. He, look, I want. Uh, it shouldn't put him off if he's innocent. Innocent? God, well, he's a bleeding Egypt, that's what he is. I mean, he doesn't know the ending of Vanishing Point. He, he, you know, he should know it. It's the most famous petrol head movie. You're all guilty of being Egypts. I'm not guilty. My mummy says I'm good. Who are pipes you? I find that highly unlikely. I'm a good boy, my mummy says. Then why are you on an 18 year old game? Because my mummy lets me, because I'm special. I think, don't think that's in a good way. That game's a bit of a war, so he doesn't know the ending of the vanishing point. So I hope he doesn't mess up my speed challenge in my vehicle. So we're in my motor while the gimp's going to drive it. Nonsense drive then. That Captain God's is in it. What do you mean? That's slander. And besides, um, also I've been looking into sharing a lollipop sounds gross, but humans share all kinds of food like ice cream cones. But a lollipop is one food you do swap spit. But humans do during kissing, but that has meaning in most cultures, unlike sharing 97% vial. So only time adults are known to share lollipops with enthusiasm is a weed lollipop. So Captain Gorgeous, did you think you was getting a weed lolly for your personal details? Weed? Why do I want weeds? That's from the garden. Not like them nettles. kind of weeds, like an MJ. What's MJ? Um, marijuana, cannabis. Cannabis? Why would I want a cannabis flavoured can lollipop? Not, can not a can of piss, can a bis. Can a bis? What? I don't get you. It's a mild drug. He's stupid because he's a nonce, isn't he? He's not a nonce because you'll be stupid if you're going to carry on with this slanderous behaviour. It's not slander. My mum says I'm a good boy and he's a nonce. Because he wanted to suck on my lollipop. And who offered the lollipop? Me? Yeah. See, that's entrapment. Yeah, alright. Check out my scar. Never mind your bitchiness. 
So let's see where my vehicle is on the scoreboard then. The HYG Insurgent at 1 minute and 9 seconds. Uber Match Zion 1 minute and 10, 574th of a second. Declassy Tampa 1 minute and 11 seconds. Bravado Gauntlet 1 minute and 12. Today's Canis Misa 1 minute and 13. Uh, Vapid Guardian 1 minute and 14 112th of a second Declassy Tampa 1 minute and 14 347th of a second Benefactor Shaffler 1 minute and 14 443th of a second Canis Free Crawler 1 minute and 14 746th of a second Infinite Nightshade 1 minute and 15 447th of a second Bravado Gauntlet Classic 1 minute and 15 745th of a second and the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire, and um, that was destroyed today. I could hear a cat meowing in the background. Who's got a cat? My mum's got a pussy. So this is the route I'm going to be taking, as you all should know by now. So what? What is this talent about? It looks rubbish. Look, just be quiet, all right, you? No. Yeah, you tell him, bruv, or what? Right, so we're doing the plastic bug challenge, and I better not get a wrinkled plastic bug this time. So here I am outside. Right, I manage, boys. Right, give me a plastic bag, or what? Not a wrinkled plastic bag. If you do, I'll shoot you, or what? So give me that. Well, well, it's a wrinkled plastic bug, you. Yeah, take that. I'm well hard. What do you mean you're well hard? Have you got a hard on? What? What the hell are you on about? Horrible, crude little kid. I'm not crude. My mummy says I'm a good boy all the time. You're not that good, you're annoying. Talking of annoying. Statement ruined my investigation. Are I you did not. Are you working for or with the GIMP? As that would explain your sabotage of equipment with Stallone. As that did have your DNA and prints on, that was yours. What? What are you on about? We are. She on about the gig again. Yes, because I'm trying to investigate him. Well, the gig you sell him there. Yeah, he he does the speed challenge, but he doesn't been on yet. I mean, obviously you're on about his PNA. There's no such thing as PNA. There's a thing called. Yeah, there is. There's a thing similar called RNA, which is an abbreviation of rubinoclic acid, a complex compound of high molecules weighted that function of cellular protein synthesis and replaces DNA, um, such as a carrier of genetic code in some viruses. Um, also, DNA is a diaroprotolytic acid, a self-replicate material which is present in nearly all living organisms as a main constituent of chromosomes, that is the carrier of genetic information. The fundamental and distinctive characteristics are qualities of something, or someone. Um, it, it's, it's also it's composed of two chains that coil around each other to form a double helix, carrying genetic instructions for the development of basically every living thing, including yourself. This is why it's distinct, and that's what I'm saying about having DNA. It's, it's, it's a certainty once we've got DNA evidence. Yeah, well I know what DNA is, it makes dinosaurs, that's what it does. Yeah, that's what she's on about, Captain Gorgeous. Well, yeah, DNA. No, it's DNA, you Debbie. Thank you, it's DNA. Yeah, you nonce. You don't even know what DNA is. Oh, he's not a nonce. He is, evidence Dave. for that. He is. Want to lick my lollipop? Well, he keeps on about it. Anyhow, so it's DNA. Yeah, and it makes dinosaurs. That's what she's on about. So she's saying the game to dinosaur, is eh? Makes every living thing, but where's this dinosaur thing come from? Oh, obviously, from that film with Steven Spielberg, what I'm dead, with that dinosaurs. You mean Jurassic Park? That's fictional. No, it's a true story. There is no island with dinosaurs on. It's based on a true story. My mate, it said he'd come Van Winkle again, I know. So, there. No. 
I, I really got to check out this caravan weekly because it just sounds like some conspiracy nutcase man. You mean more that? You've been going off the subject. What? I've been doing the plastic bug challenge and no one's not paying attention well, to I it. Well, I have noticed that you're not cheating and you have got 26. But the point is, you're not letting me investigate the gimp. Every time I come on to investigate the gimp, somebody blocks me and stops me. And usually, most of the time, it's you. No, it is. I'm presenting the bleeding show today. Right, well, I've I got this little whippersnapper batting in. Well, that's not my fault, because that's down to the producers. You'll have to have a word with them, because I don't like it either. Well, I don't know whether to change the bleeding rules and all that lot. What rules? Well, having these two coming into it. I mean, he gimps on it, and he ain't bleeding asked him any decent questions to him. I've tried, but then you blocked me straight away. Well, why are you blaming me, I blocked? Why can't speaking. you just let me get on the investigation and you get on with the car facts for a change? I mean, I'm trying to do the investigation, so I thought this week you'd do the car facts and stuff for me. And you haven't said anything. What, what is this to say? I mean, I've got a rental plastic bag. Or what? Oh, of that keeper. You can't expect um, to have a perfectly uncreased bag. That's just ridiculous. Obviously, I want a nice little straight one. I'm in paying 5p for a crinkled bag, I don't think you so. You haven't even paid the 5p, you stole it. Well, yeah, because I'm doing a plastic bag challenge, that's why. Yes, but, well, I don't, I don't even know why. He's he a notch, isn't he? No, he's well, you not. Well, you've been a notch, you know, with everybody of being that, because you've got, you've got to have evidence. Well, why did he want a crinkled bag? I didn't want a crinkle bag, I wanted a smooth bag, what? I don't see how you've linked that with wanting a crinkle or a smooth bag. Well, I wanted a smooth plastic bag, no, what? Not you, I mean in the child what's accusing you of being a nun. Because he's on about his false set, that's why. You're disgusting, you are, are really vulgar and really scraping the bottom of the barrel, kid. No, I'm not. My mummy says I'm a good boy. Your mummy's wrong, I'm afraid. No, my mummy's always, always right. My mummy's clever. Don't you presenters agree with me? Well, I don't know why he's on and he keeps calling me this weird name, no. Yeah, it's not a good thing. He's accusing me of child abuse. Child abuse? What? Because he's annoying? No, because he's accusing you of wanting to do sexual acts to him. Sexual acts? What? Sexual acts? Yeah, what you do with your Dolly Parton doll, that's what she's accused. Well, that little whip is accused. I'm not accused, I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, all right, and now, near and bad mistake, bad me. Well, technically, she is blaming you, really. Because you were picking not. on you, Captain Gorgeous. I'm not. The only thing I've um, not not picked anything on him more, but obviously I know his car is the murder weapon. But that's nothing to do with this child coming on and accusing him. I mean, if he really was... Um, announce why why would the child come back on the show with his past abuser? You just wouldn't do it. No, it, the producers told me to come on it so that it would speed it up. So if I catch him up, I can shoot him. Nah. What? You're not what? shooting at us. What? The producers have asked you to actually shoot the presenters. Well, that's what it is on the game. Obviously. Uh, have the producers told you to do that, or are you just going by the game No, rules? I want to do it, that's why. Oh, well that sounds better, because that sounds really good. Yeah, yeah, you. that will shoot ya! You know it, bloody... I've done it there! Right, so, well on to the scores, alright? Stallone at 202, Stateman's new score is 170, Captain Pervert 167, Irish fella 141 and Captain Gorgeous with 73. So, on them high heels, it's time to end the show. Bye, have a great time. Bye, Melissa. That's me.